Good morning, saints, boys. I love that greeting. Good morning, saints. Good morning, families. Good morning, staff. What a great opportunity for me to say welcome to the second term in the most unusual circumstances that we find ourselves at the moment. But this is a place that is our home, away from home, a place where we come to grow and to be with our friends. And I want to take this opportunity to take you for a walk through and to remind you of what we're missing at the moment. Remember that uh, here your ship once anchored. This is really the starting point for all of us in our school, as you know. When you arrive here as a grade 8 boy in the college, uh, a senior boy comes and grabs your bag, walks you past this anchor. Um, and this is where for five years, for almost a thousand days of school, you learn, you grow, you have friends, um, and you develop as a young person. And so this is the arrival space in our school. Equally, I guess if I had to walk across here, what's really important for me is uh, is this beautiful new statue that you know we, we unveiled a couple of years ago. It reflects a senior boy and a junior boy. It speaks to our mentorship program and it speaks to the way ahead, the way forward uh, for us as human beings. And we don't know what that way forward is going to look like. I love the humor of somebody who's come and put face masks onto these two characters. Um, we could have taken them off and been all serious, but I think actually right now in the difficult times that we exist uh, in the world, a bit of humor and a bit of laughter is really critical. But this points us in the right direction and it's based on faith. You know that it points at the chapel um, that reflects who we are, our values and our ideals as human beings. And uh, so I just wanted to walk you past this particular statue because we all walk past this every single day. And we're reminded of how we rely on one another, how we carry one another and how our friends are pointing us in the way forward. So of course this is where we always come uh, every week to enjoy chapel together and this is where we are together as a family. I just want to quickly uh, point out the wonderful change of season colors that we see on the chapel um, and to me it speaks about the fact that we are in a time of change right now. Um, each season brings something new, something fresh in South Africa, in the world now we are in a time of change um, and so let's go into the chapel. I don't know how often you have the opportunity to be in this chapel when it's absolutely empty and quiet. Um, it's quite eerie, but it's, it's incredibly spiritual. Um, and for me, I love to come here every now and then and sit in these pews and have a look up at our beautiful stained glass window of the Good Samaritan. And I think it's really pertinent for us at the moment. It speaks to our motto, one and all. It speaks to how we care about one another, saints character, doing all the good you can for all people at all times. Uh, as long as it's possible to do so um, and it speaks to love and care and I think in the world now where I think um, difference uh, inequality is being highlighted more so than we have seen in the last decade or two in the world uh, being reminded of being a good neighbor of someone who cares is absolutely critical So as we keep walking through the school and into this uh, very important place where we gather, uh, which is our uh, quad, uh, Teddy is waiting for you. Teddy always welcomes you every morning. You know that Teddy is our mascot that unites us as an entire campus together. Uh, and I suspect he's really waiting for some life around him. So uh, every morning when I arrive at school, mm, quarter to seven, seven, whatever time, there are always boys sitting on the benches in this area. There's always a laughter, there's always chatting. What I love is you always stand and greet as well when I, arrive, when I come past and other teachers come past. There's often someone doing a last minute bit of studying for a test or an exam, desperately finding out from their neighbor uh, some tips as to how they can do better. But it does speak to what this place and this quad needs, which is people. Um, our school is wonderful, we've got beautiful buildings, we've got reminders of our history, um, 67 years of history. But uh, what it is missing is people, because that's ultimately why I come to work, why our teachers come to school, and why you love school, is because of your friends around you. And so these benches and being in this place reminds me very much so about you boys, and I really can't wait to, at some point, be able to say welcome back uh, onto the campus. Sure, so boys, um, I'm finishing in this space, in our beautiful amphitheater space, where we so often we come together and when we do come together here it's to sing, it's to be united, where we sing our school songs, 
where we sing about saint spirit to the fall uh, where we rise up against challenges and so it's really important that we finish here and also finish with our message our honor code honor god honor others and honor self and i remind you that for us a, a critical value is integrity honor god at all times honor others at all times honor yourself at all times even when no one's around you and so this is the place where we come together we sing beautifully where we prove that when we all do something together we can be brilliant we can change the world we can have impact and so this is the place where i leave you at the start of term two i look forward to us all being back and having that same impact that we all dream to have as a school that strives to deliver excellence and make a world of difference.